riding fast, slow, forward and back. Good job, Roberto. It's not a circus. So, um, you're a unicyclist. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's a junior high PE class. We, as teachers, were probably the most tentative of all. It's the Liberty School District near Spangle. And after a little bit of hesitation, we thought, sure, we'll give it a try, and we haven't looked back since. After some convincing by the district superintendent, who had unicycles in his high school as a kid, last fall they received a grant from a local education foundation and bought... <laughs> Unicycles. Kids are probably jumping on them and falling on their faces, I'm guessing. And <laughs> yes, that's that's happened. Still kind of happens occasionally. And you end up just falling on your face. It's hard at first, very hard at first. But the kids, about 30 of them, are getting really, really good. <laughs> I, however, am not really, really good. I think we all start clapping now. It takes some serious courage and some serious balance. I have neither. We have students that don't particularly care for many sports, but they really have taken to the unicycle. They gain coordination and confidence. They burn calories and learn concentration. It's something that these students haven't experienced. So to have a new experience and handle a situation like that, it's just really neat to see. They've had no injuries. In fact, the unicycle experiment has been so successful... It's just been a great deal for us. They want to buy more unicycles. McKay Allen, KXLY4 HD News.